on so cute. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Nikki Philippi. To those of you that don't know who I am and just stumbled upon this video, hello. Guys, this is my third time filming this video. I have not been happy with the other times. Each time I loaded it on my computer, I was having camera issues. We got a new camera and I don't quite fully know how to work it, I guess, because every time I look at the footage, I'm like, why does this look horrible? So this is my third time, I'm hoping third time's a charm. As of today, where did it go? I know you're here, there it is. I am officially relaunching my Tumblr cups. Ooh, I'm really excited. This is my first Holy Grail favorite because I launched these back at the beginning of the year and we actually sold out. But as of today, they are back on sale. We obviously have, I don't wanna say this without sounding like kind of douchey, but we have a limited supply. So if you wanna check it out, the link will be down below. And the best part is the bottom of it says, I have to pee because I do. And when you drink all that fluid, a girl's gonna have to pee. Or a guy, you never know, a guy might be drinking out of this. Probably a girl, probably not a guy, but you know, a girl's gotta pee when you drink all that liquid. So uh, that is my first holy grail product. And I'm gonna be giving one away to celebrate like the relaunch of the second round. I'm going to be doing a giveaway of the Tumblr cup. So all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel and leave a comment down below telling me either what your favorite product in the video was that you really wanna try because I'm gonna be telling you guys all of like the products that I've loved for years, or maybe recommending a product that's a holy grail for you that you think I might like. So there's that. So let me grab my bag, guys. This is exciting. This is probably gonna blow your mind if you've been watching my channel for a while. So for a long time, I would not wear self tanners because I felt like it's kind of ironic because I dye my hair, I wear makeup, I've had plastic surgery, but I got in this high horse about self tanners where I was like, you know what? I don't have to be tan. Like, it's okay that I'm white. It's okay that I'm pale. Why do I have to change the color of my skin for it to be like attractive? Really, I got on my high horse because no self tanners ever worked on me. And I mean, I kind of believe that's true. I think we have like this weird obsession with changing our skin color. That being said, I'm about to like do a complete oxymoron, if that's the right word. Um, I decided about a couple months ago that I wanted to start trying self tanners again on my legs and on my chest and my face. Not necessarily to be tan, but more to just like even out the skin color on my legs and my chest and my face. And so I started using this product. Companies have sent me like self tanners and I'm like, why do you keep sending it to me? I never use self tanners. But when I decided I wanted to try, I went upstairs to my closet and I pulled out a product that was sent to me from a company called Vita Liberata. And apparently this is pretty popular on YouTube. I had never heard of it, but as I've been talking about it, people are like, oh yeah, everybody on YouTube loves that stuff. So this stuff claims to be a two to three week tan and it's a mousse. It is definitely not a two to three week tan. It's more like a few days. That being said, I love this. I do about three pumps per leg. I have really long legs. So I do about three pumps. I rub it in really like massage it into all of the areas of my skin over the top of my feet, my ankles, over my little toesies. And it makes my legs glowy and even. And I love it. I've literally only had one tanning mishap since I've been using this, which for me, that's pretty much a miracle, guys. It's very exciting, um, but nothing crazy. And that time I think that I had the mishap, it was because I was in a hurry and I did like four pumps, which was too much. And I just like slathered it on my skin really fast. But this stuff is incredible. I love it. It doesn't actually tan. Like I don't use it to tan my legs, although you totally could and build up. Like I said, I really use it to just even out my skin and give it kind of like a more flesh tone appearance, if that makes sense. And I love it. Now for my chest and my face, I am obsessed with the Tarte Maracuja Bronzing Serum. Same thing, it's super light, super buildable, doesn't do anything crazy to my face or my chest, and it's maracuja oil, which is really high in vitamin C, really moisturizing, and I use this every, I use this more often I think than this, because this stuff lasts like maybe three, four days. This stuff lasts like two days. So I kind of just use them as part of my regular beauty regimen, but these are definitely holy grail products for me now and I thought I would launch with that because you guys know that like I've been so anti tanning products for so long. So that's exciting, right everyone? That's exciting. So next body product I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you two body products that I have right here. One, I think that it's leaking somewhere. What? 
is even happening. All right, well, I just gave it away by holding it up. That's Dream Cream from Lush. Now, if you've been on my channel for a long time, you've already heard this story, and I'm sorry, you could fast forward for the next 30 seconds. But I, when maybe like 10 years ago, I woke up one morning and I had eczema all on my neck. I'd never had eczema before. It was just like a random bout, and I came downstairs and I was like, Mom, my neck is so stiff, I can't even turn my head. And she was like, yeah, you can. And she pushed my chin to the side, and when I turned my head, hello? Oh, I thought it was just closing. When I turned my head, um, all the skin cracked on my neck and my neck started bleeding. So obviously we went to the doctors. I got like a steroid cream, I think, some other kind of cream, nothing got rid of it. And then I randomly decided to try Dream Cream and this literally got rid of it. It is so insane. It's so, it smells like a spa. I'm obsessed with it. And I've been using it for over 10 years now. Um, now I don't really use it all over my body as like my regular body moisturizer. It's expensive and it doesn't go that far, but I keep it around when my skin needs like a little bit of extra attention. So sometimes I will use it all over my body if like I've been at the beach in the sun or just if my elbows feel dry or the once in a blue moon when I do start to feel a little dry and itchy on my neck. But I just kind of keep it around for use occasionally, but I've been using it consistently for so long. I just keep buying jar after jar after jar. So I love this stuff. The next body moisturizer is from La Vanilla. This is the Pure Vanilla Healthy Body Butter. Like it says, it's a healthy body butter, no parabens. Um, it's just on the more natural side of life, but what really gets me with this, yes, is the moisturizing power of it, but really it's the smell. I am so obsessed with this smell. It smells like this sensual, creamy, incredible vanilla frosting. And I'm so obsessed. It's funny because when I've had Dan smell it, he's like, dude, it smells like lotion. I'm like, Dan, no, it smells amazing. But he thinks it smells like lotion. I think it smells like vanilla frosting that I wanna swim, eat, and live in. And I'm obsessed. I've gone through this stuff pretty fast. This doesn't last that long either. Maybe all body lotions don't last that long on me because I'm so tall. I have so much body to like, Phil, if you didn't know it, I'm five, eight and a half. Fun fact, yeah. So there's that. I'm obsessed and I'll be buying it over and over. I'm actually gonna go and buy the perfume too because it smells so good. This is a scent that I've been using on and off now for same thing, dude, since high school for a really long time. I haven't used it consistently. Um, I just brought it back into my life a couple months ago, but every time I would smell it on someone, I'm like, I really gotta start using this again. So I am, and that is Victoria's Secrets Love Spell. Um, I gave this away in a haul video recently when I bought another bottle, and it smells very like clean, bright, grapefruit is a really great way I feel like to describe it. My mom said that, and I was like, oh my gosh, it is, it's very grapefruity, just so, so good. And when you smell someone wearing Love Spell, you know they're wearing Love Spell, and it's just a nice little mix up, and this stuff goes far. I have been spraying this multiple times a day, every day for a while now. And look at it, I've barely even made a dent in it. So it's inexpensive, it goes really far, and it smells amazing, and I just really love it. So um, I'll do another spray, but this spray is actually for your face. This is the Aroma Water from Lush. I've been using this as long as I've been using Dream Cream. I've tried other rose waters in the mix, but this one really is my favorite. I believe there's aloe vera in it. So it's lavender water, rose water. Just kidding, that's it. Lavender water and rose water. But lavender is literally amazing. I actually burned my finger the other day and I read on Pinterest that if you put lavender directly onto a burn, it will stop the burn from blistering. Sometimes it will literally like remove the blister, like the blister will just go down. And I've forgotten to use it a couple of times in times of distress and I burned my hand and Dan was like, quick, lavender oil. I was like, good thinking baby. And he pulled it out, put it on my finger and literally the blister like went down and just like, stopped coming up. It was it was incredible. So using lavender is just very beneficial for your skin. And rose is also great for your skin. So I love this, it smells amazing. At night when I put my facial products on after they've sat for a while, a lot of times when I just go back to my bathroom to go pee or whatever, I'll end up just stopping by my counter and just like spritzing my face again to just add more like hydration and water. And I almost feel like I'm reactivating the products that I put on my face earlier in the evening. I don't know if that's true. You can tell me if that's not true and that's not a thing, but that's what I feel like. And once again, it smells amazing. It's like you're at a spa. Um, and I really like the Caudalie water as well, but this is cheaper, goes a lot farther, and I think it's just it's nice, guys. So, moving on, we'll do, I'm gonna do hair products. I have three hair products here, technically four. 
Um, these two products I have been using in conjunction for years now. I love it. The first one you've seen on my channel probably the entire time I've been on YouTube, and that's the Chi Silk Infusion. This stuff smells like men's cologne, which is really random, but it's basically an oil, and it says it's a silk reconstructing complex, and I think it's supposed to help like rebuild your hair. Mm. But what I love about it is it leaves my hair feeling soft and smooth and shiny, but it doesn't weigh my hair down like other oils when I use them sometimes. I've tried other oils where I'm like, yo, it feels like I'm wearing an oil in my hair. That's not how this feels. So when I get out of the shower, I'll put this in my hair from about here down to the ends, and then I'll spray the Unite 7 Seconds Detangling Conditioner in it. And this stuff is literally so good. It is the best detangler I've ever tried, and I discovered this stuff I'm holding it by the little tip <laughs> from Fleur or Fleur de Forest here on YouTube. And we were at IMATS together like three years ago, maybe. And we were commiserating over our super tangly, knotty hair. I was like, Fleur, what do I do? And she was like, have you ever tried the Unite 7 Second Detangling Conditioner? I was like, no. And she's like, wow, look at that. There's a salon right there and they sell Unite. And so I ended up buying it and now I just keep repurchasing it because it is so good. It smells so incredible. It is so detangling and I've just never really tried anything like this. It's incredible. And I was gonna say I highly recommend it. That's how I end every product when I say it, but obviously I highly recommend it if it's in this video. So the next product kind of goes hand in hand with it. If you have tangle problems, I'm sorry if this is an annoying product to include. It's really gross right now, all my hair all over it. But um, the Tangle Teaser Brush. If you've never tried the Tangle Teaser and you have tangly hair, you need to get yourself to a store and try it stat. That's like the handle one, but most of the Tangle Teaser brushes, they look like little beans that you hold and brush through your hair. The last hair item I have is a dry shampoo. This is the Dove Refresh and Care Volume Dry Shampoo. And I actually found this because I have been working with Dove and I was using this in a video. They sent it over and I put it in my hair and I was like, dude, okay, this stuff smells amazing. It's clear so it doesn't leave a white cast in your hair when you use it and what's really awesome about it is I feel like it really does refresh your hair. Some dry shampoos when you use them especially compared to this it leaves it feeling thick and almost like like tacky in your hair. This doesn't leave my hair feeling tacky or thick. It's really awesome like I said smells great and I just it's definitely my like favorite dry shampoo now. I love it and that's all there is to say about it. It's great. All right guys, moving on to makeup. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I have this. I'm gonna start with this one before I forget. This is the Sigma Brow Design Kit. Now, huh, I tried a couple other brow colors. I only use brow powder and then brow gel in my eyes. I've never gotten on the pencil bandwagon. I've tried, didn't work for me, so I still stick to powders. But I have this huge box literally to just use these two colors and I always get questions on what I use in my brows this is it these colors are perfect for me and when I tried to venture out and use other brow powders in videos you guys actually commented why are her eyebrows purple and then another one you were like why are her eyebrows green so I really just needed to stick to my massive huge Sigma eyebrow kit but I actually just realized um, in one of the three times that I was filming that I really should probably just depot it because they pop out and I don't know why I feel like I carry this huge box everywhere just for these two colors. So I think I'm gonna do that after this video. That seems like a intelligent move, guys. All right, it's not that intelligent if I've been using it for that long and I've never thought of that. Okay. <laughs> so moving on to makeup, I don't have that many makeup items in here because not that many makeup items, I would consider them like holy grail. So I'll start with foundation. No surprise if you've been watching my channel. The Tarte Maracuja or Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation in Fair Light Honey and the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation in Fair Light Honey. Now, if you've been watching my videos, you know I used to use Fair Light Sand, but I switched to Fair Light Honey because it's got more of a peachy tone to it and I was just kind of feeling lately like that looked better on me. But, okay, so this foundation is a cream foundation, extremely full coverage, and when you first put it on, it looks a little thick, but then it settles into your skin, and I think it looks beautiful. Shayna, my sister, came over one day, and I was like, dude, you look good, and she's like, I'm wearing Tarte. I was like, what? Like, I just thought she looked good, and then I found out she was wearing Tarte. It's amazing, and then this is supposed to be its own foundation, like, on its own, but I use it as a powder to like set my makeup. So I actually use their concealer too. I don't know if I'd call it a holy grail concealer, probably because I just keep using it, but um, I have used other concealers, but I have like, 
I just love this foundation so, so much. So um, there's that, peeps. Love it. You should check it out at Sephora. Oh God, I thought there was a huge spider on me. Don't worry guys, it's just a fuzz from my dress. So, my next two holy grail makeup items. The first one is a bronzer, Hoola Benefit Bronzer. Amazing, great for pale skin because you can really build it. It's not so pigmented that when you dip it, you're gonna be like just doused in bronzer. So if you have a hard time and you're a, pa a fellow pale human, I think that the Hoola bronzer is great. I have gone through so many of these things and it's matte, which is really nice um, because not only for contouring, but also if you have any acne scarring, it's nice to not have glitter highlighting your acne scarring. So I love this stuff. And then my last Holy Grail makeup item, I get so many questions about this everywhere, Instagram, YouTube, everywhere. This is my Holy Grail lip color. I've gone through probably five tubes and I have multiple backup tubes. And that is the Tarte Lip Surgeon's Matte Lip Tint in Envy. It is, in my opinion, my lips just a little fuller, like the my lips but better thing. I just think it's so beautiful. It's like a rose. I just think this is kind of my color, especially with dark hair. I love it so much. It is what's on my lips at this exact moment, guys. Hold on. Oh, put a little more on. Hmm. I put makeup on so cute. <laughs> and then my very last holy grail makeup item is a nail polish. Once again, not a surprise. I feel like I should probably consider getting rid of all colors except for pale pink, white, and then a dark blackish purple. I'm wearing it on my nails right now, but my nails are so gross. Like, I don't even know the last time I let them get this chipped. So this color is from Essie and it's called Wicked. It's pretty much the exact same color as Linkin Park After Dark by OPI, which was my color for years and years. But I switched just because of the consistency. I just like the consistency of the Essie color more than the OPI one, at least at this point. The OPI color is a little thicker. This is a little thinner, although this does thicken up. So I find myself not even wanting to use the whole bottle, which is really random. But I love it. It's a go-to color for me. And yeah, that's the end of this video, guys. So be sure to check the giveaway out for my Tumblr cup if you want to enter to win the Tumblr, if you feel like having this Tumblr is just destined and in your future. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I will see you all very soon. Have a fantabulous day or evening or wherever you are. Okay. All right. Okay, bye. Okay, seriously, I'm weird.